in this experiment we will identify the bleaching powder among the given samples and for the experiment you will need dilute sulfuric acid at least four test tubes if you have more test tubes you can take about eight test tubes but if you have four you can stick with four label them as a b c and d and in each of these test tubes we will put the four different salt samples in one of them we will put calcium hypochlorite which is your bleaching powder the common name is bleaching powder another one we will put ammonium chloride in the third one we will put sodium chloride and in the fourth one we will put calcium chloride if calcium chloride is not present in your kit you can also use sodium sulfate or any other white salt you will also need water and you will need some flour petals so to begin the experiment after you have uh, poured out the four salt samples in the test tubes pick up one of them and to this you will add about 10 ml of tap water to each of these test tubes and the quantity of the salts that we have taken is about 1 gram And since you're dealing with uh, dilute sulf sulfuric acid and it is corrosive in nature, you can wear for safety purpose your gloves. Similarly, keep adding the water into the other test tubes. Final test tube also we will add 10 ml of water. Once that is done, you need to shake the contents well of each of the test tubes. You can place your thumb over or you can also use a cord to do this. Allow them to settle down. And allow the mixtures to completely mix well. Instead of the flower petal, you can also use a piece of cloth, like you can cut small pieces of cloth. Because we have to observe the bleaching uh, action and that will confirm for us that which of the given salts is bleaching powder. Now you can carefully take a petal or two and put it into the given test tubes. And preferably colored petals so that we can see the bleaching effect. The next step is that to each of these test tubes we will add 10 ml of dilute sulfuric acid and then we'll observe any color change in the given petals. So to observe the bleaching uh, effect you will need to set aside this setup for about five minutes and carefully observe each of the contents and the petals of the test tubes so after 5 minutes when you look at the test tubes you will notice that in test tube A the flower petals they were bleached the reason being 
and this identifies for us that in test tube A the salt sample that which was present was bleaching powder. So bleaching powder also known as calcium oxochloride it on treatment with a dilute acid it gives out hypochlorous acid and also for which this hypochlorous acid furnishes oxygen which is nascent oxygen and this nascent oxygen uh, determines or bleaches the colored flower petal and hence confirms that bleaching powder was originally used in test tube A.